This morning on The Blend, we have with us Lars Carlson, who is the CEO of Youth Haven. Lars, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Well, good morning, Bob. It's great to be with you this morning. Thank you. I'm curious, what is Youth Haven? Well, great question. So we're an outreach for at-risk, underprivileged, disadvantaged kids, lots of situations where kids are just struggling in their lives. We're here, we've are here. we been here since 1968. We're down in Rives Junction with our main campus here in Michigan. We also have one in Arizona. And we just do a lot of things to bring hope and love and care to kids that just need some encouragement in their lives. That's what we do and been doing it for 52 years now. So tell me about kids. What's the age of a, of a child that comes to you? So our primary focus is 7 to 13 years old. Uh, we also have a teen program where the kids can, as they age, can become, become part of that. And uh, it's a, a, so we really want to be involved with their lives as they enter into their young years all the way through their teen years. All right. What makes you so special? What, what makes Youth Haven so special? Well, there's a couple things. One is, is that, again, we work with a very specialized population, kids that just need some encouragement. Uh, we're trying to help them before they go into a path in their lives that might be a destructive behavior and get into the juvenile uh, system or something like that. Um, so just to give them some fun to get away from some of those situations, a lot of foster kids come to Youth Haven. Um, but we do it all at no cost, wow. and we accept no federal or state money. Um, we are 100% privately funded by donations, just people who say, hey, I want to have a part in helping make a difference in the lives of kids. We are a faith-based organization, so we're teaching them that they were made for a purpose, that God has a plan for their lives, and uh, it's just a great privilege to be able to serve kids in that way. Absolutely. So, Lars, how have you handled the whole COVID-19 situation? Well, you're looking at it. This set actually is a set we put together for this summer's program. We had plans to have kids on site. We had to change those. So we've been doing a virtual camp program all summer, um, working with kids across the country. Literally, we've got about 10 states that children have participated. Uh, we've been taking birthday presents out to kids on our mailing list and giving them birthday presents and just engaging with the kids where they live. We're really excited. We are actually going to have some kids on site next week for a couple of day camp programs. So we're just doing everything we can even in the midst, I told our, our team we're going to shift our, our methods a little bit, but not our mission. Wonderful. Real quick, how can people help you, Lars? Well, again, we do all of this at no cost, so we need people who want to give, and you can visit our website at youthhaven.org and give a gift there. We need volunteers, and we need people who might even know of children that could, that could benefit from a program like this. All the information is on our website, and we'd be grateful for any help that someone might want to give. And Lars, we'll make sure we put that information on the screen as well. Thank you so much for taking time out today. Great. Well, thanks, Bob. I really appreciate the opportunity this morning.